the Govi AI sync box combines three of the best things in life. Lights, gaming, and artificial intelligence. It's an ambilight on steroids, not only reflecting your on-screen content to some behind-the-screen LED strips and additional lighting bars via HDMI signal analysis, but then throwing in a layer of artificially intelligent effects in supported games that will recognize actions, events, achievements, and display some cool visual effects. You might be thinking, well, I don't care about the AI bit given it's only a few supported games right now. Fair enough. And an HDMI backlight is hardly new technology. And you'd be right. But what the Govi system does is to link up with any other DreamView compatible Govi lighting that you own, which is pretty much the entire range if it can be controlled over Wi-Fi, such as this desk lamp or this LED light strip here or the Govi Glide wall decoration. And it extends the sync lighting to that with individual segment control where available. Now this last feature isn't new to Govi. Actually, some of you will already be familiar with their existing DreamView product line, which uses a webcam to watch the content on your TV screen or monitor. But this is the first time they've made an HDMI sync box instead, which solves a lot of the problems associated with very slow, often inaccurate uh, visual tracking through a webcam. I'm James Bruce, reviews editor for MakeUseOf.com, and I tend to get really excited for flashy colored lights. So keep watching to find out all about the Govi AI Games Sync Box. Let's start with setup and installation and then what's in the box. Now, one small point, I really wish Govi would sort out their packaging to be a little bit more eco-friendly. There's a ton of plastic here that's just unneeded and some large chunks of unrecyclable solid foam that will now be powering my local incinerator for a brief second. So in the box you'll find the AI sync box, a small black thing featuring two USB-C out ports which power the included lighting bits, an HDMI out to go back to your monitor and three HDMI in, one of which can be used for ARC. So the Govi AI sync box can also function as a basic HDMI input switcher. Now my monitor has some awkward button presses to switch sources, so this is actually pretty handy. Of course, it's also necessary since there's only one output. Now one other small point, the sync box itself has a very small frame of RGB uh, LEDs around it, which also reflect the content on the screen, and it seems a little bit tacky. It is useful for input switching because it both displays left, middle, or right segment in different colors, so you can sort of associate your devices like that. But in terms of extending the lighting sync, it just doesn't really work. And hopefully there'll be a setting to disable or customize that. Maybe you could set which part of the bottom of your monitor it should replicate. Next up, you have a small reel of RGB pixel LED backlighting for your monitor. This is already soldered with joints for the corners, which is why this kit can only fit monitors from 27 to 34 inches. If anything, 27 inches was ever so slightly too small with the corner cabling ending up jutting out slightly. On the other hand, 34 inch monitors may find it's ever so slightly too short leading to a lack of LEDs in the extreme corners. In future, I hope Govi releases a generic pack of however many meters, which you can then cut to size, join up and configure in software. Also in the box are two LED light bars for use on the corners of your desktop. These are connected via a single USB-C cable to the back of the sync box. Now, while there are no additional USB-C ports for expanding those lighting options directly, the beauty of the Govi AI sync system is that it'll work seamlessly with nearly any other Govi Wi-Fi enabled lighting product, just as their existing DreamView TV options do. Now, on the software side of things, just add a new device, search for sync, and then you'll find the right item. So moving on to operation, I'm going to gloss over some of the more basic features of the sync box, because if you're familiar with Govi, which I suspect you are, if you're thinking of getting this, then scene mode, solid colors, music reactive scenes, etc. You know how the Govi products work and it's all present here as well. The UI to control those has gotten rather bloated over the years, but you get used to it and there's a lot of scenes you can use there. Uh, music mode is great for parties, but other than that, I doubt you're going to use many of the more vibrant ones. The real magic 
comes in the dream view part and at any point you can power on the box and it'll default into dream view now once you've done this the led strips on the back of the tv which are rgb individual pixels they will start to reflect the content the bars on the side also duplicate the side of the screen and as far as i can tell they're very smooth transitions too as well as being individual pixels so rather than a whole color bar these do also have pixel control from the box and that ensures a really smooth uh, accurate coloration from there you can add additional devices and then whenever dream view mode is activated it'll automatically grab control of those other devices assuming they're online and turn them on for you and then start syncing up now Hopefully you've been seeing a lot of the generic HDMI visual effects in the footage so far, though I will note that you can choose which part of the screen the segments represent. So if you think my glide wall light is not quite matching up with the monitor, that's not the fault of the sync box, that's just how I chose to set up each segment with some of it from the top and some of it from the side just to sort of look like it was extending it a bit more. Also, some devices like the table lamp will have slightly different color representations. But specifically, let's talk about the AI feature, because that's what makes this product so special. And you need to activate that from within the app. It takes about 30 seconds to recognize the game. Though, of course, if you're always playing the same game, you don't need to constantly re-recognize. You just turn it on. It might have been quicker, though, for Govi just to provide a Dropbox to choose the game, at least at this point where there's only a few games supported. So, at launch, it supports three games only. Valiant, League of Legends, and Apex Legends none of which I play, so bear in mind I suck and only played through some of the earlier sort of tutorial levels rather than trying to embarrass myself in public. But it was enough to see how the effect lighting was genuinely amazing. It's like having your own live lighting operator watching your every move. Most of the time it's just matching the scene, but then when something important happens like you get a kill, you capture a point, it goes off in crazy happy celebration mode, or it turns red to show you're taking damage, or green to show you're healing someone, that sort of thing. It's surprisingly fun, but with the caveat that I do really like flashy lights. I was a lighting operator for club nights and bands back in my uni days, so I may have a bit of a fetish for these things. Obviously, if you don't like flashy lights, I mean, what are you even doing watching this review? The combination of lighting and AI is not something you would think has any practical use. But I really can't wait to see how this system expands beyond these three terrible, terrible games. Outside of the AI-supported games, it does of course still work as a generic ambilight. I found some of the spell effects in Hogwarts Legacy, for instance, to provide quite a pleasing visual effect, though a lot of the time it was very subtle. In Call of Duty, it didn't do much, nor in my other favourite title at the moment, Company of Heroes. The colour palettes there are not exactly exciting. But I do think the AI engine could feasibly add something on top of that were it to be trained. It really shines during movie watches too, of course, though again it's going to depend on the type of movies you watch, and personally I don't watch on my gaming PC that much. Anything with predominantly bright daytime environments will be quite boring, while sci-fi and animated shows tend to be more stylized, and it'll suit those better. In terms of supported modes, the HDMI 2.0 ports on the box support 4K 60, 1080 HD at 120, or some insanely low resolution at 240Hz. It also supports HDR and Dolby Vision pass-through, so no worries about seriously degrading your visuals just to get the added lighting effects. However, the lack of support for 4K 120Hz via HDMI 2.1 is going to frustrate some people. Not me, personally, because actually I'm used to gaming on a laser projector at 4K 60Hz max, so the lack of super high refresh or variable rate refresh isn't something I care about. But I know some of you will, and there is a solution, but I haven't tested it. In theory, you can split the HDMI signal, so the 120Hz 4K can go into the monitor, while you have an extra downgraded 1080 120 which can go into this box. I did find an HDMI 2.1 splitter box which should be able to downscale it to a suitable signal while preserving the original. This might introduce some latency, but it's not something I've tested again, so let me know in the comments if you have and that works. And I should say I looked at a few different splitter boxes, and they don't all have that ability to downgrade and maintain the frequency, so I'm not recommending just generally 
any old splitter box, but this one specifically might be able to do it. So the big question, should you buy the Govi AI Gaming Sync Box? The AI Gaming Sync Box is the next generation of ambient lighting effects, and if your monitor is 27 to 34 inches, and you have a good selection of other Govi Wi-Fi lighting already in your gaming setup, then I would highly recommend it as a glorious light show that incorporates everything. You might already have the G1 Pro gaming system to do that, and this is definitely an upgrade in terms of color accuracy and latency, as well as those neat AI effects, but only in supported games. At $300 retail, it's not cheap by any means, but it's certainly cheaper than the equivalent Philips Hue system would cost you, and that is the only competition really in terms of a whole ecosystem of connected lighting. However, it's also two to three times the cost of Govi's own previous generation of G1 Pro gaming sync systems, which was essentially the same product minus AI and using a web camera instead of an HDMI box to analyze the colors on the screen. Now, personally, I wouldn't touch the camera system. There's no way it can accurately deal with reflections or black color, unlike pure HDMI signal processing, but for some people, the added cost might not be worth it. Maybe you can live with those shortcomings uh, for the price. So, I mean, $300 is the launch price, but it's feasible it'll come down in time or on sale at various points in the year if you can wait. The only other downside is the size. It won't work with super wide monitors. It won't work with anything uh, above 34 inch 16 to nine ratio. I think it's a given that Govi will produce a similar one for larger screens in the near future like TVs. So stay tuned for that. All right, thanks for watching and thanks to Govi for shooting this over for review. Remember to hit like and consider subscribing for more reviews, gadget giveaways and more from all of us over at makeyourself.com.